Hi guys, my name is Christina and welcome back to another day in the life in HR. So I haven't filmed one of these in such a long time and I've been getting questions and requests and I thought, you know, today seems like a somewhat busy HR day. Why not film a video? I might regret this later because I'm so busy. As you guys can see, I do have a new setup. Um, I might do an office tour once we're done renovating this room, but I still work from home since my last video that you guys saw. Nothing really has changed there, thank goodness. <laughs> but I thought I'd answer a few questions before we kind of continue on with today. I do have some time before my first meeting, so I thought, why not? So one of the first questions is, why haven't I filmed more of these HR videos? And honestly, filming has is just very tiring. It's a lot of work and I just haven't had the time or the um, motivation to do so. As some of you might not know, but I'm also pregnant. <laughs> yes, well, when you guys see this video, I'll be 21 weeks. And we found out the gender and we're so excited and we can't wait to move forward with this wonderful journey. Another question that I get often on my last video and on Instagram is have I taken what? Have I taken my PHR exam? Answer is no, I have not. I know there is no excuse, but I have quite a big excuse. So in 2019, I decided that I wanted to take the exam to see if it'll help boost my career or um, move me up in the HR ladder. Um, and I started studying for it. And honestly, you guys, it is very overwhelming. Like, first of all, it's not free. It's actually very expensive. It's about $100 just for the application to apply to take the exam. And then it's about two to three hundred dollars to take the exam and if you fail you don't get that money back but if you pass i know like depending on your job i know my company will reimburse me the money for the exam so i just thought that was very overwhelming you know that's about three four hundred dollars down the garbage if i fail and i'm not a very good tester i get a lot of anxiety during tests and exams and it just freaks me out so much so i kind of fell into a negative hole regarding the exam and I just didn't feel prepared and no matter how hard I studied, <laughs> the anxiety kicked in and I just don't do so well on the practice exams. So I thought, you know, I should take my time with this, study as long as I can to make sure I get some passing grades with the practice exams. By the time I felt somewhat confident, which was in the spring of 2020, my husband and I actually decided because of the pandemic and everything and the sales market was nuts, we just sell our condo. So I kind of put the exam on pause because we had to pack everything, move out of the condo, put it on sale, figure out life. And I just didn't have any time, literally any time to study. It would be, I would work, eat dinner, pack wake up work eat dinner pack like work like sleep eat work pack like that's it because we really wanted the condo to be empty and moving ready to boost our um sales market like i i just we just noticed that in the sales market even when we were looking for condos and houses we were drawn more towards empty places than furnished places so that's kind of what we wanted to do and in the meantime we just stayed at my parents house since they have a whole guest room set up at their home so that happened and at the same time once we moved out every single weekend was spent on finding our future home which was this house and it took us it takes a long time you guys it took my parents almost a year to find a house they liked while selling their own old home and it's it's not easy and people see, think it is but it's not the market is nuts and then there's bidding wars and people are fighting to get the house you want it's it's and you limit yourself within areas as well like we really like the town we had the condo at and we didn't really 
want to move out of it we just really love this town it's really nice it has everything we're looking for that was just very stressful and then the whole like paperwork once you do have once your offer is accepted on home the whole paperwork system and everything it's just nuts let me know if you guys want a separate video on buying a property because this is our second property so i think we kind of got the hang of things um but let me know in the comments down below so after that we were so busy with moving in and there were also a few nick not knickknacks but a few <laughs> complications with the house that we had to fix before moving in as well and and it was, it was just so stressful <laughs> and after we finally settled down um i i thought you know now we're settled down it's already like spring 2021 i know you guys like it took us that long to settle down because i had to set up the office we had to move our office because we needed nursery we had renovations we had like and every weekend now that the quarantine stuff has been lifted a bit we're seeing friends and family and so it's like i'd rather see my friends and family than study for an exam you know that that can wait like i'm not in a rush so yeah that was a lot of that and the holidays and uh, it's just everything is so nuts and things are slowly settling down and then during the summer i ended up pregnant <laughs> so i put the test on hold again you guys it's so bad like i really want to take this exam and see if it'll help my career and yada yada i do plan on getting my master's in hr just not anytime soon because we want to first finish finish all the renovations of the house pay off some more debt and then i'll consider the hr masters i do want my masters i think it will be great and i'm gonna do it online if you want more information on that let me know i do want to vlog all that hr master's stuff but that's just gonna wait because we want to first pay off all our credit cards i think once that's all paid off then i'll consider getting my masters plus we have a little nugget coming along so we kind of want to you know focus on the baby i think once the baby gets a little older um that's when i'm kind of leaning towards getting my masters but it all really depends it's only going to be like a year and a half according to the school i was looking at which isn't too bad i i think i could do that but we shall see um so things have just been kind of nuts and every time i decide oh i should start studying again something else gets in the way so i guess i'll just go with the website i'm using hrci.org which i will link down below if you guys want to check it out i know at the moment you can take the exam online instead of going to take it which i would prefer since i am pregnant and nauseous 24 7. <laughs> so looking at it let's see let's just go in here right now um i worked in hr for four years now i qualified for the senior phr exam 115 scored questions and 25 pretest questions it just sounds so terrifying i just i don't know i don't know you guys the exam fee oh my god it's 495 dollars and the application is 100 that's about 600 dollars. i am just not ready to spend that money at all but if i go for the aphr exam the exam fee is 300 and the application fee is only 100 so that's only 400 dollars but guys, like, I don't feel comfortable spending $400 on something I know I'm going to fail. And it's so stressful. I don't know if you've taken the exam. Please let me know. Like, what were your study tips? Did you pass? Did you fail? How many times did you take the exam? Like, please answer my questions. <laughs> it's just so overwhelming. But that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm kind of like on a pause with it because i feel so overwhelmed and i feel like if i pay off all my credit all my debt then i probably wouldn't mind spending this 400 dollars. but like it's still a lot it's a lot of money for something that you might not pass especially for someone like me who has testing anxiety and 
doesn't like tests. So enough of that, let's get on with today's video. I already like took a shower, that's why my hair is wet. I took a shower, got dressed, had breakfast. I didn't show any of that because I was just a big mess and life is just stressful. <laughs> I'm so stressed and I'm pregnant. So things are extra difficult and heavy for me. But, but let's start with today's video. Let's get on with it. Let's get on with it, you guys. So before I start any day, I always, I have like this notebook that I, that was like 10 cents at Staples, um, school supplies. Buying school supplies at Staples is like the best thing ever. I'm not even like a student or anything, but I love going there for their school supplies because you can get a notebook for a penny sometimes. Like you guys, take advantage of this stuff while you can. <laughs> um, but don't worry, I don't go like crazy or anything. Like, yeah. So I like to do daily to-do lists every single morning before I clock into work. And I try not to do right down a lot because I don't want to feel overwhelmed um, throughout the day because stress HR is already really stressful so I kind of just limit myself to 15 tasks and these are mostly work related and well 80% of it is work related and the rest is usually like little things here and there that I want to get done so today I want to focus on my new hires I have about like uh, say 40 for the rest of this month and half, not even half of November, like the first two weeks of November. I need to focus on them to see where they're at, who needs to be moved around. Some people have sent me hired updates, like hiring dates updates, like they can't start this day, but prefer this day. So I just have to edit all that, fix it all up, clean it all up and send notices out. And then I want to work on, I do have a meeting at 10 o'clock today. So there's that, that's gonna be fun. I have emails that I wanna clean up and go through. And then I have my team emails that I want to also go through. I like to go into that my team emails every single hour to get a lot of my stuff out of the way so I don't have to worry about it as much and then I focus on other things during our calls and stuff which I do have my daily meeting with my team. I always include snack time because I'm pregnant and lunch <laughs> on this list because it is seriously highly recommended that you have snacks even if you're not pregnant you work in hr you need that sugar you need that energy because sometimes it could be a very stressful time i also have a different planner where i do like my personal to do's and sometimes i add them on here just to see if i need to get anything done like i want to do the dishes they're in the sink i want to take out the garbage and get the mail that's pretty much all i put on this to do and during my lunch i usually work because i was out a week ago and i kind of um had to catch up and i usually just work throughout my lunch but today i'm probably gonna take a lunch which i like to read i'm currently reading beautiful world where are you by sally rooney which is a adult contemporary so if you guys want to check it out i highly do recommend it she does bring up a lot of very sensitive subjects like um i want to say politics but like close to it there's some religious stuff feminism and um she does mention like relationship things that i feel like everyone can relate to even if you aren't in relationship and never were but there's so many like topics that she points out and a lot of them are mind-blowing you guys i am obsessed with this book right now and i'm taking it really slow because i don't want it to end so usually a book that's like 400 pages i can finish in two three days but this one i've been reading for the past five days <laughs> but i'm more than halfway through and i hope to read a bunch today today i would like to reach the 300 page mark i think or i might even read more i don't know we shall see um i had some pregnancy stuff i had to get done today which i did before filming this video so that's all set up let's see what else do i have get done today oh yeah i need to go to the store i might just do that during my lunch instead of reading i need to buy coffee 
Oh, and I want to clean my desk. That's right. I'm going to take you guys along. We're going to clean and organize this desk. It's been a while. I want to move things around. So we're going to do that today. So I did my little list and let's get started. So this is my little work setup. I'm just going to clean it up, dust it, and organize a little bit better. Right now it's like a big mess. it over here in front of my face because when garbage is in front of my face I do clean it up better baby bump <laughs> let's do let's do an affirmation okay. I love these cards um, they're from Dreamy Moons which is an Etsy shop and look how beautiful these cards are look at that goldness I will link these down below as well so what I like to do is kind of like pick one and they just have motivational quotes that I feel like anyone can relate to and I could try to focus on that quote during that day and I've noticed it it's kind of cheesy and <laughs> kind of dumb but it actually helps a lot and I really like it and I highly recommend doing this you guys so I'm gonna pick a card go with this one <clears throat> I go with the flow and feel my connection to the stream of life See, it's very like cute little quotes and this is how it looks like. It's so pretty. And this is what I focused, what I focus on during the day. I have it on top, all the other cards. Like there's instructions how to like actually use these cards. But I'd rather just pick a card a day, focus on that. Okay, I have a meeting in 10 minutes. I start that meeting. I'm just gonna do some work, deal with some new hires and go from there. This laptop is garbage. Companies, please upgrade your shit. Cause like. Welcome to Zoom. Enter your meeting. Like I love HR. I love my job, but pe some people make it really complicated. Hi guys, so it's already like one o'clock. That meeting I got called into lasted so long, but there were a lot of updates my team and I had to discuss and I was also having computer issues. So oh, it was just crazy, <clears throat> crazy time. <clears throat> so now I just had lunch. I had some dumplings and sushi. And now I'm just snacking because I'm still hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I'm snacking on some salt and vinegar chips. For some reason, like the baby, I crave a lot of um, fruit. Like I love fruit. Like fun fact, I don't like apples, but I crave apples because the baby wants apples. And my husband loves apples. Like he has like an apple a day all the time for breakfast. And so I think the kid gets it from him because I want apples all the time. I just, the juiciness makes me like weak in the legs. <laughs> but yeah, and I also crave a lot of salty foods and peanut butter. 
but I love salt and vinegar chips, always have, and I really wanted them today. I walked past the aisle, I went to shop right, right after my meeting. I walked past the aisle and I was like, yup. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna snack on these Annie's um, bunny gummy bears, <clears throat> um, bunny fruit snacks. These are the strawberry flavored. I highly recommend getting these if you're trying to find a healthier um, fruit snack alternative. These, I believe, are gluten-free and they um, don't have as much sugar as regular fruit snacks, but they're still like, you know, added sugar because of course. And I don't know, I just really like these. I prefer them over fruit snacks. So I'm gonna have my chips, finish my snack. And then I have another meeting to hop on to. I don't know about some of you guys that work in HR, but I'm in constant meetings, constant calls all the time. And when I'm not, I'm just like glued to emails, but I get everything done in the morning. So then around like two, not two, around three o'clock, I am free. Like I don't have much to do because I like go crazy working on it in the day. So when it hits like three o'clock, and I get off at 4.45, so I'm like, oh, an hour and a half. I just kind of like try to complete some of the chores I add on my to-do list and or I get the mail and kind of enjoy the fresh air outside and answer a few emails here and there because the day does slow down at that time, like tremendously. Hi guys, so I just finished work. I'm so tired. Today was, it was a lot of vlogging. <laughs> I think I was pretty productive. I had two very long meetings and I finished up all of my work stuff on my to-do list. The only things I didn't get done was like some personal stuff. Actually, you know what? I did get some of this stuff done. I got that done. Yeah, there was like two items on there I couldn't get done today, which is fine. I can always move them to tomorrow's to-do list, which is what I tend to do. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I answered some HR questions that a few people have commented and reached out about. And if you have any other HR questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them in my next video or within the comments as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again next week with another one. Bye.